Well, good evening and welcome back to 3 News. Hope you enjoyed the start of the weekend. It was cloudy at first and temperatures warmed up into the middle to upper 70s earlier this afternoon. Now, looking forward in time until late next week, it looks like we're going to see some cold air move across the northern U.S. and more importantly, and the Corpus Christi. Now that's not until the back half of next week, so we have a long time to watch this and we'll give you the update and the details coming up in just a bit. But first the Almanac, the temperatures today reached a high of 74 morning low of 59, which is slightly above average, but we are in the neighborhood for where we should be for early February. And this morning, patchy fog, morning cloud cover gave way to plenty of sunshine and nice and clear conditions out there this evening. In fact, temperature at 71, middle 60s over in Rockport. Northwest winds very calm between 5 and 10 miles an hour, so nothing too breezy out there this evening thanks to a frontal boundary, which is starting to move east and away from Corpus Christi and move the cloud cover offshore. Now, of which is producing some rainfall across the southeast from Florida, from Miami to the north. Northeast into the Carolinas and even some snowfall into portions of the Midwest near Illinois and near Indiana. That's the bigger setup now for Corpus Christi and most of the region. A lot of the cloud cover is moving offshore and that's going to lead to a clear setup for tonight and temperatures mild this evening. Upper 50s through about 10 p.m. And as you wake up tomorrow morning, if you're going grocery shopping, if you're getting any outdoor plans out of the way. I mean, we're looking at middle 40s tomorrow morning as you get your day going. So chilly, have a light jacket, maybe a coat, but temperatures warm up fast with the sun comes the heater and temperatures will top out in the uh, lower to middle 70s. And you'll notice by about three and four o'clock tomorrow, some high level clouds moving in from west to east, not producing any rain. The forecast looks mostly dry for tomorrow. High near 71, mostly sunny. So if you have any uh, outdoor plans, uh, grilling in the backyard looks great. Mild, just chilly at first and a gentle breeze between 5 and 15 from the north and northeast in the wake of today's cold front. Now again, not cold, but by tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, temperatures rebound pretty fast, near 80 by the middle of next week. But watch what happens by Wednesday and beyond. Some colder air is going to work through, and right now there is a lot of uncertainty in the forecast, all thanks to a core of Arctic air over Canada right now. Now take a look at some of these temperatures uh, over these uh, southern provinces of Canada into the Northwest Territories. I mean, look at this negative 36 over the uh, Northwest Territories and Northern Canada. Now this is going to work its way south into the Northern US by about Monday and Tuesday. But the question is, how far south does this lobe of Arctic air make it? And you'll see on this particular forecast model by Thursday and Friday, some of this makes its way to Corpus Christi. Now I want to show you two different models, the GFS and the European model. Tuesday, Wednesday, mild temperatures in the middle to upper 70s. But pretty good agreement between models there. But by Thursday and Friday, look at the temperature swing. GFS is going for an afternoon high of 50. The European model is going for an afternoon high of 75. And it gets worse by Friday, a bigger disagreement. The GFS is going for afternoon highs in the 30s by Friday of next week. So bottom line, there is a lot of uncertainty, a lot of things to iron out over the next couple of days as we get more data in with these forecast models and we'll continue to update in the next few days of which will produce some rainfall on Wednesday and Thursday. But right now, uh, rainfall totals looking like on the low side for next week. OK, seven day forecast temperatures warm back up to near 80 on Tuesday. Rain chances Wednesday and Thursday scattering of rainfall over South Texas and temperatures go back into the lower 60s and then lower 50s potentially by the back half of next week. Mike. 